let me just actually go to this. Uh, in my opening call for subscribers, every day I show the Dow chart mm -hmm. and give an analysis. It really applies to the other uh, indices as well. Um, and I give my traders corner, which is just a list of all the positions we have, what I'm looking for, quick synopsis of where we are and what we would like to add, what, what are market indicators, etc., and then all the, all the different positions we have. So um, I'm just showing this is, um, forget about all the stuff on the side. Basically, this is a screen I use with these three panels and it shows the down. What I said yesterday was that there was, there's a technique that I've developed over the years called the Chapman Wave Roman candle. Basically, it's a long wick with a body and sometimes it's a, a red candle, sometimes it's green, but the principle is the same. If it occurs at the top, watch out if you take out the, the low. If it occurs at the uh, at the top and the price holds in that wick, the long wick, uh, for about 60 minutes, there's a good chance you're going to test the high. Well, you can see this candle. So we've been short the Dow uh, for about two weeks. No, actually, the, the last short was about a week and a half ago, a week ago, and we've held that short position, and that's obviously doing well. So I'll show the daily chart and the 120-minute chart. In the Chapman Wave, we're always, always looking for the fourth highest peak we label them peak A is the first, peak B is the second, a higher peak is peak C, and then peak D. That's where other things can happen. You can see we've got that peak D right there. Look at that sharp pullback. That was down 743. Um, it hit 38,927 yesterday with an all-time high. Um, this is the same thing, but here I have some technical indicators which we use. And here's the 120-minute chart. It, too, it made a peak D. Uh, so that just said to me, there's a really good chance that they could have some kind of a pullback. How deep a pullback? Well, what I was looking at is for a couple of weeks now, actually it's more than that, but essentially over the last two weeks and especially this past week, I've been talking about round numbers. I've been following round numbers. A round number is if the price, I used to follow this on the Dow when the Dow closed unchanged, which is very rare. It did that back in uh, 1987, when there was a, a, it made a top, and I was hand charting at the time, and then it pulled back, and then it had a rally, and it had an exact 0% change. And I said, <clears throat> if the market's down 60 points or more, that was a lot in those days, tomorrow this is a really serious decline. So I've learned about the 0% changes. And so yesterday, I was talking about the different uh, uh, numbers that we were looking at. But there's a one that really struck me. It's called the RSP. And that is the, this is, you know, you talk about the Dow, sorry, the S&P 500. Well, this is the S&P 500 equal weight ETF. So to get an index to have a round number, it means that all 500 have to do something to get that round number. It is so rare. So yesterday, the S&P equal weight made an, uh, a high, all-time high of 160.53. And as I'm looking at it intraday, I see it had 159. Look at this, 159 was the open price, 159.00. It went up to 160.53, uh, uh, one and a half points higher. And then uh, it closed uh, just a little bit lower than that. And today is trading at 156.18 down uh, 3.83, and that just said to end was a leg F in the weekly chart. So I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, all right, this is something serious. So we actually, for subscribers, we are short the S&P. Mm. Um, even more important is when you're looking at, uh, let me just find, look, ARM. You were mentioning ARM a moment ago. Yep. ARM is an incredible company. Uh, this is in the semiconductors. It made a round number. It's toodle toodle, just messing around in the in the 70s just a week ago. Right. It screams up to 164.00 round number high yesterday, mm. trading now at 121. Um, yeah, these things don't just happen in a vacuum. SMCI, another, and yet the semis are actually holding not too badly today. So right. I'm watching things very closely. So yes. This is um, super micro company, semiconductors. Oh, come on, listen, get this. Oh, there it is. So look what happened. Um, it screams. This is the same thing. Just a week or two ago, it's down in the 400s. It runs to where? 
810.00 yesterday. And look at all the round numbers. Even today, it had an 800 uh, high. So I don't take these things for granted. I've been studying them, the round numbers for years. And the number, I mean, you can, even the GBTC, which is the, uh, the GBTC is the, uh, the yeah, Bitcoin round, trust. That's the Bitcoin, if I can just get this to go, there it is. Um, that had a 43 round number the, uh, yesterday, mm. and uh, it's trading at about 43.86 right now. So when you see, uh, it says to me that fund managers are, are so nervous right now mm. that they have a degree, there's a degree of hysteria that they've just gr got to grab everything they can. I mean, even I had, look at, here's GGG. Who knows about GG? It's called Graco. It's in the uh, it's in the uh, fluid management products packages. That had an 88 round number, and now it's trading at 86 at an all time high. So I take these things very seriously, and I I'm not sure it means that everything's going to go down very sharply. But look what we got today, and it just says to me that fund managers have a degree of hysteria. They're grabbing whatever it is, just putting in the round number, getting in, getting out. Some of the stocks had round number highs and round number lows over the last two days. And that just, I, I don't think I've seen this until, maybe I had seen it back in 2000 in the dot-com bubble, but I am saying it's something I respect. And I think that uh, there's gonna be some kind of volatility here. And, and But unless the SMHs are semiconductors, which are trading only down five and a half at 197, unless they really start to tank. This this could just be a, what's a well-needed respite where there's a breather, but I am taking it quite seriously because uh, it, it's so rare to see this number. A, a, any stock that anyone mentioned over the last two days, I pick it up. There was one that just a moment. Oh, you, you mentioned STLD. You're always looking mm -hmm. at uh, STLD. Well, guess what? Yeah, it had... It had a high yesterday, but the day before it had a 125 round number. Yesterday's high was 126.30. It's trading at 117 right now. So they don't just happen. They don't just happen in a vacuum. And that's just telling me be a little careful here because there's a consolidation unfolding. You've got to take it seriously. And the dollar is rallying. We've been long the dollar for a while. Absolutely, the dollar's doing very nicely. Basil, thank you so much. Uh, just fantastic as always. Folks, seriously, come check this out. The opening call newsletter. Basil, thank you so much. Thank you, Jacob. Take care. Have a great day. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back.